Now I grew up watching the Star Wars original trilogy on VHS. Every time I wanted to re-watch the movie, I had to put the VCR tape in and wait for it to rewind all the way to the beginning. Unfortunately for me, my VCR machine broke and I can no longer watch those tapes. Now you might be saying, well, you know, just go buy another VCR machine. And I've thought about doing that, but to be honest, they're not too easy to come by these days and they can actually fetch a pretty high price. Now, you might be wondering, what's so special about your VCR tapes of the Star Wars original trilogy? Can't you just buy a DVD copy or stream it online? And the answer is no. At least, not in the same way that I'm used to. You probably already guessed it by the title of this video, but what I'm referring to is the unaltered theatrical version of the Star Wars original trilogy. That is the version that was shown in theaters and then later released to the public on VHS. However, these original copies stopped being distributed after George Lucas came and re-released Star Wars in the form of the special edition. I remember first watching the special edition movies at a friend's house and I really didn't know what was going on. Now, while most of the changes are relatively minor, there's some pretty big ones too. I mean, there's entire, you know, entire scenes of CGI, there's a song and dance scene in Jabba's palace, there's a whole bunch of stuff that was changed. And the justification for George Lucas doing so was that this is how he always envisioned the movies to be. He just didn't have access to the technology at the time of making them. And, you know, we can get into a huge discussion about which version is better or should George Lucas have done that, but honestly, that is... That is the subject of another video. For me, the original versions are what I prefer. They're what I know, and it might just be nostalgia, it might just be cosmetic, but for me there really is something more to it, and I really do think that the unaltered original versions are better. Here is where my call to action comes in. With online streaming being bigger than ever and Disney Plus emerging as a top competitor in that industry, it makes sense for them to put everything they can on their streaming service to get more subscribers. What better way to reel in an audience of perhaps an older generation or perhaps just people like me that happen to know and love a Star Wars that they're not used to seeing being available online? Since the unaltered theatrical versions of the original trilogy are still out there, all Disney has to do is pull them out of the archives, dust them off, and throw them on Disney+. Plus. The expense of doing so is very minimal. If they're only getting a thousand new subscribers because of this, they're probably maximizing profit doing so. It's pretty clear that if Disney does this, they're going to get more people because there are people out there like me that want to watch the original versions more than anything. They don't want to watch the DVD special editions, they don't want to see the re-releases, they want to see the classic Star Wars that they know and love. It might just be the Star Wars that they want to show to their younger siblings, or they want to show to their kids. I mean, to me, it seems like a win-win. Minimal expenses, potentially high profits, and a lot of happy Star Wars fans. Here's looking at you, Disney. Make it happen. Peace.